Welcome to the Nostalgic Multiverse. Yo. Hello everyone, Nostalgic here, and, well, another engine came in from AliExpress. So, let's get into it. Here we have Blue Mountain Mystery Reneus. Now, why did I call him that? Simple. The livery he has is from the end credits of Blue Mountain Mystery. Now, I do like the fact that they actually made this as a knockoff item on AliExpress. Oh my good gracious, I still can't get over this. Uh, they they made it with the take and play design. I do like that. I mean, but the but come on, really, really? Why, why, why did the take and play have to give Reneus a short funnel? This is not correct, and it does not compute in the slightest. Anyway, so as you can see, the detail on the model is absolutely amazing, uh, but. I really wish they would paint the cylinder. As tends to be the case with most knockoffs from AliExpress, they forget to paint the frickin' cylinder. I want to go up to whoever is working on these engines at AliExpress and give them a piece of my mind, but whatever. Another thing I've noticed as well with these engines is that some of them will have two front magnets on each side of them this is this is and the fact that they even molded it to fit two front magnets is just <laughs> beguiling to me it's be it's beguiling another thing i i don't like about this model is the fact that some of the details are not even painted on right but I'll easily make those changes happen with a repair, with a paint pen. And I, look at this, look at this. Look at how small, and I mean it, look at how small the nameplate is. You can see on the nameplate, it says Reneus. And it is in the shortest way possible. It is so flippin' short. And look at this. Look at this. On the number two, it, it it's not even aligned properly. And I think the same... No. Yeah, it is misaligned on, uh, on the other side as well. Great. Great. But I do like that this model is of good quality in terms of a die-cast model. Although some bits are not painted, although some bits really seem out of place, I'm looking at these red cylinders and even more so the two front magnets, as well as the fact that there's there are some details that weren't painted on properly. But I don't mind. I really don't. Now, if anything, we should compare this to the take-along model and... In all honesty, I really need to get myself either a new Red Reneus or try and at least restore my Red Reneus because this, this is getting out of hand. So here is the original Reneus from 2000 and, which year was this? 2000 and... I can't even see the licensing properly on this thing. Let me see. 2006. So, this was around the time Reneus was reintroduced into the series. In the worst way possible, might I add. But, if anything, the model is nice. Unfortunately, the model makes him look like he's got a cramp again or something like that like from the original stories and even more so lo look at the paint job seriously look at what i've done to this thing this is i need i really need to find the time energy and paint pens to restore this reneus model because i am getting fed up of seeing this thing in such a shoddy state 
But as you can see, the new Reneus is much taller than the old Reneus. And also, you see this, this you see this little bit here that Reneus has on top on his roof. That is non-existent here. Otherwise, some of the other things are pretty good. Like, for example, the I think these are the sandboxes or just the splashers. The coal bunker is here. That's good. But if anything, they should have painted the lining. And they probably should have also added gold on top of it. Because even though this model is banged up, you can see that there is black and gold lining on Reneus. So, yeah, while this model needs a lot of heavy restoration, this model needs some details painted onto it. I still like it for what it is, though. It's a, it's a good model. It's a good model, but uh, if anything, ju just, just put more effort into the quality and even more so the, fr uh, the flipping cylinder and the magnets. Adding two front magnets doesn't make any sense. And also paint the roof, all of it, for Christ's sake. And also, if we look at the bottom here, it says Reneus. And this is, uh, this model was probably made before Mattel sued those people who made the models in the first place. And it says at the bottom... It says at the bottom that this was made in 2009 by Learning Curve. And at that point, Learning Curve had been decommissioned, first of all. And second of all, we, we would have had some taken plays by then. <laughs> but with that, everyone, that's going to do it for my review on the AliExpress Yellow Reneus. And I know some of you will say, why are you buying fakes? Why? 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 It doesn't make any sense for you to buy fakes. Why are you buying fake alongs? You listen here, you little... The, the reason why I'm buying the fake alongs is simple. It's because of the fact that most of the official models are way too expensive to get nowadays. And even more so, rare ones, like the yellow variant of Reneus. So, yeah, fake-alongs are the only way to go at this point in time, because everything is expensive on eBay. Alright, enough of my, enough of my ranting, enough of my constant raising of my voice. That is going to do it for this video, guys, and thank you for watching. This is Nostalgic signing off, reminding you to keep your imaginations turned on and that nostalgia never dies. I need water now after this Enscopius rant.